Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. You are listening to The Daily Dog with your host, Michelle Forto. The Daily Dog offers training advice, tips and tricks, and maybe even a book or movie review too. Let's learn all about the Labrador Retriever. It's true, labs are famously friendly to a fault at times. They not only love their whole family, but they enjoy meeting and greeting as many people as they can fit onto their social punch cards. For more than two centuries, Labrador Retrievers have been by our side as companions and as working dogs. Originally bred in Newfoundland and long employed as a duck retriever and fisherman's mate, The breed gained popularity amongst English nobles visiting Canada in the early 1800s. These noblemen refined and standardized the breed and stuck with the moniker of Labrador, even though the breed originated in Newfoundland. Today's Labradors have retained that easygoing temperament. However, it should be noted that they require an exorbitant amount of exercise due to their high energy athletic requirements. What kind of jobs do labs excel at? Besides being great companions, labs love having jobs like fetching the newspaper. Wait a second. Is that even still a thing? <laughs> Maybe we should update this to fetching a seltzer from the cooler. Labs take their jobs seriously when they've been selected and trained to perform tasks for the disabled as service dogs. Labs help keep us safe in public transit areas by sniffing out bombs. Labs are used to detect illegal drugs and labs are even being trained to sniff out bed bugs. What do labs like to do for fun? Labs are one of the best choices for people who are active. Labs love long walks, but prefer a run or a bike ride at a decent pace. Labs enjoy sports too, like fly ball, frisbee, tracking, hunting trials, obedience trials, rally, agility, and even dock diving. Let's talk about their trainability. Labs are highly trainable. Training should begin the day you get your lab, no matter the age. Training, however, should be age appropriate. Labs do well with treats and toys as part of their training toolkits. Keep things challenging to ensure engagement instead of boredom. Traits. Labs come in three colors, chocolate, black, and yellow. Males are slightly larger than the females. Males are between 22 and a half and 24 and a half inches and weigh between 60 to 75 pounds. While females are slightly shorter at 21 and a half to 23 and a half inches tall and are weighing between 55 and 70 pounds. My experience. Well, over the years, I have trained a lot of labs. Some with textbook temperaments and standards, some with less than textbook temperaments and standards. Overall, I rate this breed as a 7 out of 10, 10 being the top dog. Labs tend to be teacher's pets, easily trained with low defense drives and high pack drives. If you make a mistake during the training process, they adjust and bounce back easily. A key takeaway, exercise labs both physically and mentally for an overall balanced, well-mannered dog that will undoubtedly be the best you ever had. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. 
If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forda and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forda and her team has an individual training plan. 
We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.